lagt i brak I mångfoldige år Och byen har glömt oss I skyggan vi står Men nu är vi tillbaka Där vi hör till Tillbaka i toppen I världens vackraste spel Vi är Åsane Vi är Åsane Vi ska kämpa som halta Mot all slags press Men det som är tyra För mitt allt gräs Vi är Åsane När kampen är vunnat När skalpen är tatt Ja, då ska vi feira Som gal och besatt För detta är klubben Av kött och blod Här finns ingen stjärna nyckar Här går vi to och to För vi är åsarna Vi är åsarna Vi ska kämpa som halta mot all slags pass För det som har tyra på mitt allt gräs Vi är åsarna for that is place, that is my place. Over all the world, that here I find freedom. Here are we blomstrat. Here shall we swim in hand. But even when we are bored, so the club is again. What's going on guys? I'm back. Another stream, August 15, 2023. Best Murph, how are you man? Welcome to the stream. We're continuing the Asana save. Today uh, we're gonna play more games in Elite Syrian and we have some cup games. I think we're in the semi-final of uh, the cup. Getting closer to the Champions League qualifiers guys. Uh, <clears throat> we're still bad financially. Let's hope today we can fix some problems. Let's go. Alright, so I uh, played some games since yesterday. On my own. Where did we leave it yesterday? Let's see here. <laughs> I think the first game that I played after the stream was... Lilistrom, I think. Yep. We beat Lillestrom at home 3 0. Thor Severson Naldinho. On the score sheet, Rosenborg. We beat Rosenborg away 2 1. In the cup, we played two games in the fourth round and the quarterfinal. We won both of them 3 0 and 7 1. And 4 2, we beat Viking at home in the last game that I played on my own. Uh, Sunness, I think. This game, not sure. I'm not sure if this was the game that we played last uh, last time. Not sure, guys. But anyways, we lost against Sadness in in Elite Syrian, two one away. So this is uh, another game that we lost after we lost against Strom. So so we have two losses in Elite Syrian this season. If we're looking at the league standings right now. As the title shows in our stream description, we are five points behind odds 
but we have one game in hand so if we win our game in hand we're still two points behind odds guys this season is not going as planned actually nothing this season going as planned uh, the tough is the, the life is really tough in uh, in bergen for uh, for us financially we are in deep deep trouble we're 52 million negative in um, in our bank and we are gonna be over the wage budget too Yeah, we lost two one in the cup in uh, in the league, and we beat them seven one in the cup. Yeah, that makes uh, absolutely zero sense. And uh, in the cup, I played with uh, the backups. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how how is that possible, but whatever. Football manager is not always uh, too realistic. So yeah, guys, um, our next game. It's gonna be Sarsborg in Elysian in three days. We have some uh, unregistered players for Elysian. Players that we could use. Uh, Ampu is in the form of his life right now. Like he scored a hat trick in the cup. Juventus is selling him for 46 million. I would love to buy this guy, but we have him for six more months. We're gonna have him for the Champions League qualifiers, and if we qualify in the league phase, we will have him there too. But he's gonna leave in December or January, actually. Uh, what else? Uh, we decided to play Petrovic as a defensive midfielder, guys. This is uh, actually a great decision. If you're looking closely at the numbers, he is better as a defensive midfielder, as an anchorman, than a central defender. He is uh, having 13, just 13 on tackling. He has 14 on passing and 14 heading. And look at the mental. 17 anticipation, bravery 18, composure 14, concentration 15. Uh, the speed is decent enough. This guy is better as a defensive midfielder. So we decided to teach him this position. Because we are going to have to sell... Um, who else uh, we have in this position so we're gonna sell Nunez and Olivares guys so this guy is an extra central defender that we can use as a defensive midfielder and he's a key player for for us so you know in this role I think he's gonna in the future he's gonna play better so our new central defender pair is George and Neusiano yeah best bruv, I know man sometimes football manager is kind of dumb <laughs> Um, so yeah, this, this is the update with our starting 11. Petrovic already played a few games in this position and he's already on orange. So I'm counting that he will learn this position very, very fast. And, uh, you know, at the numbers, if you're looking at the numbers, guys, he is amazing. And he's gonna still grow. And what 147 current ability. Hidalgo playing great playing super great actually like i don't know how else i can describe his form like he scored already four goals and 11 in 11 games in the league but overall eight goals uh if you add the cup games so he is uh, absolutely outstanding this season his numbers are growing every single game already 131 current ability at 19 years old this guy is a wonder kid we just wait for him to develop into world-class player right now and we're not gonna sell we have uh we have him for four years and six months at the club so i'm counting that it, uh, we will resign him so right now uh we are in june 27 guys june 27 we're very close to the uh the european transfer window not uh not in norway in norway is gonna open in august i think so uh, I don't. I don't think it's a. It's the correct way how I said it. Like the European is more like the uh, the big league, the big leagues uh, transfer window. So right now we are going to be focusing on uh, selling players. We have, like I said, Carlos Olivares that we desperately need to sell and Nunez because otherwise we are going to go bankrupt, guys. Bankruptcy is um, waiting for us if we are not going to somehow fix this situation in the next two to three months we have the money from the champions league coming so that's almost 15 million we already sold 
We already sold, guys, um, William Kvale, Tore Siversen, and Lar Lars Thorsen. But still, we need to generate at least 20 more million in order for us to be on even financially. So, And we have two players coming in, Kafresan Asar uh, from Wolfsburg on a free. And yesterday, we signed Witness, our new backup striker. A 19 years old witness from odds so yeah uh, still we are in big trouble let's press continue in three days we are playing Salzburg. this is gonna be the first game of the stream uh, it's gonna be a two hour stream today i'm counting it's gonna be a slow stream and uh, yeah we don't want to drag too much uh, for too long uh when it's uh, when it's really really slow let's see here so yeah let's re-offer nunez Let's do a 22 million. We have four teams interested in him. We need to generate at least 20 million from selling Olivares and Nunez. I would, I wish I could get more money, but for some reason, not a lot of teams are interested. Um, Bessemer, I'm not sure. Good question. Not sure. It might. It might. It might, man. And I think, yeah, I think that this is the first season. Because I remember watching a show, a Romanian show, a few months ago about uh, the Romanian teams uh, that are in the Champions League uh, competition, the qualifiers, and one guy was talking about it. So I think you're right. I think... Uh, this is the first season where they uh, have the new format. I honestly, I like the old format, but this one that me doesn't bother me. I mean, you have more games. You have eight games compared to the six in the group stage. So this way you can make a little more money, even though you're not gonna qualify to the first knockout round or the knockout playoff, you still have a chance to to make a few more mil you know all right let's see what's uh, what we have here we have an offer for kral oh, okay Still, see, like, we get only 9.75 for Olivares. Yeah, we give it a season to see in real life how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably... They're probably gonna go back to the to the old format. They always do. If you remember, in the... In the 90s... Or, like, after... I don't know. if, if After 2000, I think, actually. Not in the 90s. After 2000... They had uh, the two group stage formats. So like they had uh, eight groups and then they, they had another four groups and then semifinals and the final. So they had this format for a few years and then they went back to the old format. Now they're going to try this one. Most likely, most likely they're going to go for the Super League. I'm telling you, like the, everything is going to, you know, is going to probably go for that stupid Super League in the future because these big clubs are always always hungry for more and more and more money they don't care about the small teams they don't care about the poor clubs so remember like few years ago when they had that um actually last year i think they had that attempt for the super league only the big clubs you know in like a special super league outside of the fifa organization and then or, or the UEFA organization and they almost got banned and like a lot of fees for this kind of clubs like Manchester United was in it, uh, Real Madrid, Chelsea, like, and at some, you know, at some point they kind of backtracked and, you know, they pulled out. But in the future, I'm counting that uh, they're going to have a Super League and the, the small four clubs, they're going to have their own league. This is going to happen in the future. So, yeah. All right, so 
Of course, we're not gonna sell Thomas Kral for 9 million. We're gonna negotiate for 120. Because these idiots are always, always trying to get our players for cheap. Two more days, the first game of the stream at Sarpsborg. We need to be careful. And I'm saying this because um, it's kind of weird how we are not dominating the Elite Syrian this season, playing a lot of games with our starting lineup. So we need to be very careful because Odds is on a winning streak. They, they can't stop winning. So if we're finishing second, this season in Elysian. I don't think we have the guaranteed spot for the Champions League qualifiers. I gotta double check. But it will be a shame if we don't win the league again. We have uh, odds right after Sarsborg. So today we're gonna have uh, two good games. But uh, they're very close to each other. So we pretty much have to play the backups for this game, for Sarsborg. And then for odds. Uh, the starters and this uh, this buffering was because of my computer for sure sometimes it does this sometimes it's just you know it's a little slow processing the game because I heard the pause in my headphones so I know for sure it was uh, it was buffering Okay, if you guys remember Maximiliano Pugliese, we sold him uh, two, two years ago, I think. Yep, we sold him to Olympia. We got him for free from San Lorenzo. We sold him to Olympia for 8.5 million. And uh, Olympia sold him to Benfica for 7.25. And right now, guys, he's 140 current ability. He's a wonder kid. I knew, I knew he's a wonder kid. When he was playing for us, he wasn't. Uh, this, his description wasn't wonder kid yet. Right now he's um, rated at 30 million and playing for Benfica. I don't know how we do this all the time. We just let these great players leave the club. We have Frode Magnussen that we discovered at Molde. We are trying to, to get this kid great future. But um, Molde is rating him at 7.5 million and we don't have the money right now. We would love to get him. It has been two times. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it is what it is, man. No one is watching anyway, so I'm not too worried too, too much. All right, let's see. Press conference. Before Sarsborg. Let's try again. Nunez. I wish I could keep him, but we can't. We can't keep this player. We can't register him. Him and Olivares, they can't be registered in uh, Elysian. Come on. Make an offer. Make a freaking offer. Nobody interested in Olivares now. Wow. That is really fucked up. Yeah, it's okay, Besmer. If you enjoy it, it's all it's all good, man. It is what it is. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna start uh, streaming a little uh, less in the future. Probably three streams per week. Two man football manager and one. Uh, it's gonna be uh, the betting league. Gonna take it down a notch. Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, not it's not worth the time that I put in in into streaming, guys. Sadly, it's the truth, you know. Wow, and now 5.75 million. Nah, 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 nah. 33 clubs now. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Somebody has to offer at least 10 million, otherwise we're not selling. I was, yeah, I was thinking, like, I'm going to stream probably Monday, Tuesday, and then Saturday or Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, so one week is going to be Monday, Tuesday for the football manager, and one week is going to be Wednesday, Thursday. I need to kind of, like, you know, uh, match my schedule with... Um, with my wife's schedule so we can both you know whenever whenever we have time to spend together we'll we'll uh you know we'll take advantage of uh, of this and because like streaming is like really takes a lot of of my time is like two hours every single day and it's not worth it guys like i can i could do a lot of other stuff honestly so i'm still gonna do it but way less The betting league will continue on Saturdays as scheduled. I will announce the new schedule on Monday. Each week is going to be different, but it's going to be two streams per week on Football Manager and one betting league. That's going to be uh, the new schedule. Yeah, that's okay, best Murf. You'll watch whenever you can, whenever your, your time allows, you know. It's not... Uh, something necessary to watch you know it's just a it's just a video game man like I said many many times before this is super saturated like streaming and especially gaming is super saturated like there's thousands and thousands of streamers like you're not gonna have a fan base like a lot of people in six seven months <laughs> and especially if your your english is not like if you don't speak like a fluent english yeah people will not watch this is what i noticed you know and especially if you're a foreigner if you're not speaking english and if you choose to stream in your own language your net like your native language even less uh viewers for you and your channel so it's really really not worth it Yeah, I will do it. I will do it, Best Murph, you know. I'm, every Monday, I will have a clear picture with my schedule for the upcoming week. So, I'm not going to quit streaming. It's just I'm going to do it less because, you know, it takes a lot, man. It takes a lot of my time. and I need to, I need to be productive, not uh, playing games all the time, you know. Uh, let's see. We have two offers now. Ulam Nunez. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna let him go. Even though it's in payments, Ulam are offering us 19.75. Yeah, we have to let him go for this price. And especially because he's making a lot of money per year. 4.45 per season. That's, yeah. I'm for the most home now in the week I have the handball training on wednesday and we have the old boys game again thursday yeah see it's good to stay busy and good luck man good luck with your um with your games and uh, have fun in training you know it's good that you stay busy for me like if i stay for too many hours inside the house like i'm i you know my mood changes i need to go out i need to breathe some fresh air you know so yeah so we're gonna accept the offer for Nunez from Fulham. Let's see, Kral. Again, Ren. Jesus, 16 million, dude. I told you, it's either 120 or just stop offering me money. 
this guy will not go for like 12 13 million and Kuprin signed a new contract this guy is in increasing 16 years old but uh, for the elite Syrian uh, games as a backup he will be very good so that's why we extended his deal I <laughs> hear live betting all day <laughs> just be careful man live betting is dangerous if you just do a proper proper uh, bankroll ma management you know you don't want to lose a lot of money I stopped uh, betting live honestly like um, I stopped because you're winning for like a while and then on the long run you're losing like this is what I noticed at least when I bet live you know the winnings co compared to the losing days are just uh, yeah so uh, i rather just do the pre-bets and have a set strategy just do the same thing all the time stick to it and that's the only strategy that is you know proven to work that gives you possibly give, giving you the uh, the advantage over the sports book otherwise if you bet live at some point you're gonna hit the wall and you're winning few days you're losing then another like seven days in a row and then you're winning two days and then you're gonna keep losing on the long run a lot of money yeah if 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 you discover something besmer that is gonna work on the long run let me know because i will try it too but f since i started betting nothing works on the long run just the pre-bets like if you do it right if you bet three four five pre-bets per day and you stick to it on the long run it's possible to make profit is it it's proven by other sports better and the professionals you know but live betting it's not proven and it's proven actually to to make a damage to your budget so just for fun if you do it yeah that's a different story but if you if you plan to to stick to it for for uh, you know for a long long term strategy as a long term strategy yeah it's not going to work all right so let's see here do we have fit players no we don't so and we have to play sarsborg with uh, the backup team guys so let's do torsen one of the last games he's gonna play for the club siverson also for naldinho uh jakobsen let's see hopland for petrovic kvale for greco olsen for jonsen harviken for george uh jacobsen for neusiano mm. thomas kral is back but do we want to risk no we don't and wiesner has to rest too man Brandal has to take the hit for the next game. We still have injured Viana for another six days. God. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to suck it up. And this is Brandal and Butalezi. Okay, best Murph. Mm. Kuprin, maybe. Yeah, Kuprin and. Strand in the middle. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, this is much better. Hopland, Kuprin, and Strand playing in the middle for the Starsborg game. And on the right, we're gonna have Brandal who is tired, so we might lose this game. Let's try this for for the first half and if we really struggle then we are going to put more starters second half. But yeah, this is the first game of the stream. I'm not going to check the training levels because I did check it yesterday and this game is like really close to the one that we previously played so there's not enough days for us to um, 
there's not seven days between uh, the games so usually when you don't have seven days they're not gonna allow you to praise or criticize any players in training let's win the three points and face odds the derby in in the league with the starting lineup we need to catch up to them there are two points in front of us if we win this game if we don't win this game there are five points in front of us Big, big chance for Severson. Oh god, penalty I think for Sarsburg, 17th minute. Okay, we are lucky outside of the box. Sarsborg is pushing for the first goal of the game. I don't care how, but we need to win this game. Severson struggling 6.4, Jakobsen struggling 6.5. Totland from Sarsborg with a big chance here in a 34th minute. Kuprin and Thorsen yellow cards already. And Hopland is injured. Okay, something has to be changed at halftime. Okay, last highlight. Brandal here is exhausted already. Losing the ball. Getting back uh, the possession through Olsen. Jakobsen now. Strand. Harvik. Harviken. Yep. Passing back. This might be something. Otherwise they wouldn't show the last highlight of the first half. So let's see. Maybe it's our chance. Brandal. Kuprin. Ah. Alright, so half time. Let's make sure we don't let this one slip away. Um, 
Unlucky. Let's just say unlucky. I don't want to go too hard on them. Let's do Petrovic for Strand. Let's do Wiesner for Hopland. We need to put the big boys for the second half, guys. Otherwise, we're going to lose this game. Naldinho for Severson. On the right, we're going to have to... To do Hidalgo, maybe. Yep, Hidalgo. Thomas Kral for Kuprin. And that's it. We use all our subs. Wiesner Hidalgo for Naldinho. Naldinho for Kral. Kral. Yes, 1 0. Good. Perfect timing. 49th minute, almost 50th minute. Welcome back, Bessmurf. So, we were struggling the first half now, uh, putting some starters in. We scored the first goal, and who else than Kral, who is our captain in this game? Harvikan, Wiesner for Hidalgo, Kral again, passing to Thorsen, bad angle, he turns, Kral again to nothing, I think we're good now. I think we can secure the three points after these two goals, I don't think uh, Sarsborg can come back out of this, but we were close, we were close to, to dropping points in this game. Let's see how fast they're going to recover because in two days we play odds, guys. Two days. No time to, to breathe. Hidalgo cutting inside, getting stopped there. Kral, free kick. Olsen, Petrovic. And we have a new follower. Let's see. 
Triga1986, thank you so much for uh, following the channel and watching the stream. Really, really appreciate it. And another goal here. Thorson with the assist, I think. Yep. And Kral, hat trick, guys. Seventy fifth minute. We can't make any more subs. Like I said, we use all of them. And three one. So we we allowed one goal even with our with five of our starters. It was a good decision at halftime to not take a chance. Great shot by Vest Vestgren. Wiesner, Thorson, Kvale. <laughs> what a shot by Kvale. He's, this is his very last game for the club. What a goal for Kvale. He's gonna go to Standard Liege, guys. We sold him. But what a goal. Farewell. Farewell goal for Kvale. 4-1 at Sarsborg. Last five minutes. And we're two points behind odds. And we have the direct game in two days. And we have a chance also to win and uh, regain our first spot in the league. Odds have the season of their lives. They uh, they are on a winning streak and another goal. Naldinho five one. They have a, like I don't know like 10, 11 games winning streak. That's why they're first. Let's see uh, Petrovic finding Hidalgo on the right, and Hidalgo with the, the assist. For Naldinho. The Champions League qualifier games are uh, approaching. We have probably two to three weeks until we play the first uh, the first game. It's gonna be third qualifying round, I think. We start from the third qualifying round and next season we're gonna start from the playoffs we're gonna have only the playoff before the league phase which is good good tackle there This is the last highlight and full time 5-1 guys great win very poor first half but amazing second half so i'm super happy with the performance thomas kral with the hat trick vale and aldinho on the score sheet And immediately after, we have the three players leaving the club. Siversen, Thorsen, and Kvale, guys. Kral, let's praise him. Kvale. And Naldinho.
Hopland injured for three days. Three assists for Thorsten, okay. Okay, let's re-offer now Olivares, guys. So we have a lot of teams interested, like 17 clubs interested. We need at least 10 million for him, at least. First July 2032, the transfer window will open officially for the top five, I think top five European leagues. In Elite Syrian will open in August, so we have one more month. Season 11 is very difficult in, in, uh, in Norway at least. I don't know how it's going to go in Champions League. But domestically, we are kind of struggling. And it's a shame, guys. We're 11 years in the future. I mean, if you can't dominate the, the domestic league after 11 years, then you should quit playing football manager. Nah, I'm just joking. The dream of winning the Champions League is so far away and it's already mid-August guys. Two more months, two, two months and a half until... Actually, is it two months and a half or three months and a half? Anyways, like around three months until the FM24 comes out. Last year in FM22, I failed to win Champions League. Most likely this this year is going to be the same. The last time when I won the Champions League was in uh, FM 18. I think it was FM 18. I don't like to do big club saves, so that's why I mean I could I could win the Champions League immediately if I want to. It's just I want to struggle, I want to pick small clubs, so it takes forever until you win the trophy, you know, until you win a major trophy. Takes a little bit until the game will process this uh, 1st of July day. Like I said, there's a lot of data to be processed uh, due to the transfer window opening.
Come on, jeez. It's uh, taking forever now. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's too easy, best Murph. You should play the backups, the new Saints. Oh, we have six offers. Let's see for who. So Stabai gets 50% from Siverson. Shit. Albacete, Stein, Torsen, Torsen and Kvale. Okay, so let's see. We get offers, but for who? What? We get four offers for Wiesner. So we bought him for 8.25 million or 8 million straight. Uh, we, we will negotiate. Definitely, but we are asking for 80 million. All right. You don't want him? 80 million. There you go. I will take my time to individually respond uh, to these offers. Ho hoping that they will just back out, you know. There you go. All right. Petrovic. Same story. Are you kidding me? Like, it's insulting. The offers that we are getting for these players are, like, insulting. Dude. 120. All right. Naldinho named June's Norwegian Premier Division Player of the Month. Congratulations to him. And Petrovic, what do you want, dude? He wants to chat. I'm disappointed that you priced me out of a move to Napoli. I've always wanted to play at a bigger level. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you want? I want to, I want an UEFA Champions League winner medal to look at m when my career is over. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna make this guy stay. So, Let's do the transfer target. So that might not seem realistic now, but I'm planning on bringing in some very exciting transfer target. All right. He's reasonable. He said, okay. Nice. Hopefully he's going to stop complaining. Can't afford losing this kind of players for cheap, guys. All right, let's see our finances. So we have 43 million negative balance. We still need to generate a lot more money. So we have Nunez, who is going to go to Fulham. Who is this guy? Agnes. Yeah, he can go. The grass shop is talking contract. And in August, we have Witness joining and uh, Asar from Wolfsburg, another central defender, who we're going to try to use only in Champions League or the Cup and then try to sell because his future is not that bright, only two and a half stars. Damn, we have nice games today. We have odds and then we are going to play Molde also. And Bran away. If we have time, we can play Bran too. We'll see. We'll see how, uh, how we're doing with time. But definitely odds and Molde we will play today.
still 1st of July. Damn, it takes forever until we move on. Finally, God. We will check the training levels before we play odds at home. For sure, we're gonna have a lot of tired, tired players. Last season in Champions League, <clears throat> it was really, really disappointing for me. We uh, got knocked out by Mainz in the knockout playoff. I believe it was, uh, it was a poor performance overall. Who knows what's going to happen this season. We have a better team. But it's weird with these tactics. One season it goes well, one season it's really bad. So I don't know what to expect. Shit. I regret to announce that due to a deterioration in the club financial position, the payroll has been reduced from 1 million to 975k. Okay, so. Okay, they cut a little bit the wage budget by by two million. So yeah, we need to bring money in, man. Ghent make. Uh, I will negotiate, but let's do twenty-five million. There you go. Us. Our Champions League goalie. And we're one hour into the stream, guys. We're going for one more hour. I hope we can fit these two games, at least the odds and Molde, in one hour. Yeah, less likely that we have time for Bran. Bran will be played the most likely Friday. No stream tomorrow, no stream uh, Thursday. Only Friday and we have the betting league on Saturday and that's it. Wow, and look at the... Huh. I'm looking at the tactic familiarity right now. It was 100% like a week or two ago, and right now we're... What the hell happened? Oh, because... Yeah, we don't... <laughs> because two of the players that we were having here in the starting lineup uh, just left. So, yeah. I was... uh. Kind of scared for a few seconds. Okay, so Naldinho, Butalesi. There you go. Starts to go back to 100. Greco. There you go. Gustavo Viana. Neusiano. Wiesner. Ral. Thiago George. Jonsen. And back to 100. Let's re-offer Olivares. He has to go, man. He has to go. Three days. Huh? We'll play with... Uh... Hidalgo, I guess. Or should we have balls and play with 
with the kid with Brandal. Okay, let's have some balls. Petrovic. Suspended. Mm. Why now? Jakobsen. Defensive midfielder for this game. I'm curious how much money the board will give us from that 19.75 million that we're gonna get for Nunez. We'll see. We signed him for 7 million guys. So we make good profit with that player. Olivares, come on. Okay, 14 million. Jesus, like so many teams interested and nobody's offering. I love this guy, Meyerstein. This guy's great. Too bad he's a he's a righty. He's not his left foot is not strong strong enough to play inside forward. game day finally let's check the training levels really quick oh still okay we don't have to check it maybe before mold the game so yeah we're gonna start with Tangvik, Greco, George, Nusiano, Jonsson, Jakobsen, Kral, Wisner Butalesi, Brandal and Naldinho guys. Let's beat odds and regain the top spot in Elysirian. Second game of the stream.
Kral tries to find Butalezi, not fast enough. Again, Kral Butalezi inside a penalty box and for a shot blocked and corner kick. Now Greco try to find I, think, I guess Naldinho was there. Jakobsen back to Greco and Odds is winning the possession. Naldinho, Jonsson. <clears throat> Neusiano. George Jakobsen, Wiesner. Brandal switches on the left to Greco. And Wiesner. Bad shot. Come on, boys. Odds now. 10 minutes in. Free kick. Brandal. Come on. Why? Oh, okay. I thought uh, he's just clearing the ball out of desperation. George. Kral. Greco. Butalezi. Yeah, keep doing that. Yes, play. Play. Ah. Jonsson. We're dominating position as we should. We just we don't know what to do with the ball. When we get close to the penalty box, we kind of have no idea what we're doing. We take stupid shots like that. Now Kral, free kick. Ooh, this was good. And great save by Bruno, Odds goalkeeper. We're winning the corner. Come on, something is not clicking. Yellow card, Greco. What was that? Yellow car Wiesner. Don't tell me it's a penalty, dude. Okay, no, it's not. Come on, ass. Hmm. Tangvik with a huge, huge save.
Real for Greco Butelezi Naldinho Black Shot now Brandal hmm. It's a tight game It shouldn't be like this. We have, we have a way better team. Way better team than them. I don't know why this season we are struggling, guys. Even in Elite Serien. We invested so much money in this team. And we're still at the same level. Jonsen. Brandal on the right. Brandal and Aldinho offside. Stop spazzing. It's offside. Oh wow. It's a goal. The kid delivered the goods. I thought... Honestly, I thought it was an offside. They're gonna show, actually. Let's see. Hmm. Debatable. Alright. Half time, one nothing. Better than... Then zero zero for sure. I'm delighted or I'm pleased. Yeah, I'm pleased we created loads of chances and the scoreboard reflects that. Let's start second half. Welcome back, Bessmurf. George Kral. We need to score one more goal just to make sure we're not dropping points today. Ostergaard now. George Greco. Kral. Greco. Jakobsen. Big mistake by Ostergaard. Kral inside a penalty box for Naldinho. Naldinho passing to Butalezi and Butalezi with a poor shot. Now we're first in the league by one point, but still we need to be careful. The game is not over. We have 30 minutes left. Butalezi! <laughs> so close. Jakobsen 6.4. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go, sir. And we're gonna put Neusiano as a defensive midfielder for the remaining 30 minutes. And uh, Brandal Hidalgo will play uh, 30 minutes on the right, and Brandal will be subbed. Harvikan for Jakobsen. Alright, and we have two subs left in the pocket. Butelezi on the left. Hmm. Almost 2 nothing there. We 
Greco got injured. I need to sub him. Olsen. Good, good pass for Hidalgo here. Hidalgo, one-on-one -on -one chance and Golazzo. What a player. Hidalgo can play on the left, can play on the right. It doesn't matter. He's the same player. You meet Benfica, PSG, Porto, Ludo, Goretz, Leipzig, Real Madrid, Lazio, and Pauk. Damn, that's a tough schedule for you, Besmer. Good luck, man. It won't be easy. I hope your players are good enough to to qualify from uh, from that uh, that group, if I can call it like that, to the next round. At least the knockout playoff. But I see, like I don't understand why you're struggling right now to qualify to the next round where you or or you know played the final two seasons ago. It's weird. I hope I hope you make it at least to the first knockout round. Olsen! Shit. Ten more minutes. All right, let's make one more sub, the last one. Um, yeah, let's do Strand for Neociano. We got the three points, guys. It wasn't easy, but we're back on the first place. And hopefully now Odds is going to start losing more points in the league. Okay, that's good. If you have a better team, it's good, man. Well done, boys. So we have one more game today, guys. We're going to play Molde. And that's going to be the last game of the stream. We're going to be back on Friday. With, uh, most likely, with the new Champions League season. We have, uh... High expectations at the club. Alright, let's praise Naldinho and Hidalgo for their goals. Hidalgo. And I'm so happy we got him. What a player. Injury, eight days injury for Greco. Kalestad, only 23 minutes played. <laughs> he played against us. I didn't, I forgot we loaned him at Oats, guys. 23 minutes, Kalestad. Oh shit, 22 days break. Are you kidding me? 22 days. Hmm, we might not play any other game today, guys. We still have another 35 minutes in today's stream, so we're gonna press continue and try to sell more players, but I don't think we have time to play Molde, so. 
At least it's good that we're first in the league right now. And Friday we can, um, you know, resume with the remaining games in in the league. Friday we're gonna play interesting games if i don't have time to play on my own if i have time to play on my own then definitely we will get closer to the yeah, let's see, to the uh, champions league uh, league phase games No offers for Olivares again. 13 million. Come on, let's go. I keep getting emails and offers um, <clears throat> to get affiliated on Twitch, but honestly, I don't give a shit. Like, I really, I, I'd rather stream without getting affiliated because what I know and what I heard, when you get affiliated, your viewers get a lot of uh, commercials during the stream, annoying. They have to watch five or six commercials during the stream. So, you know what? Who gives a shit about affiliation, you know? You're making no money anyways. It's just a headache. Alright, so Paolo Greco out. Olsen in, Thiago George out, Harvikan in, Petrovic back in the squad. Yeah, it makes no difference, Batsmer, if you're affiliated or not. It makes a difference just for the big streamers, yes, because they can make a little money here and there. Like Zealand and but even Zealand, he said he's making way way more money on YouTube than than uh, Twitch. On Twitch, he makes like he said like around two thousand a month, and he has like hundreds of thousands of sus subscribers. So imagine, imagine if he makes only a few thousands per month, us like the shitty streamers. The small streamer is like, yeah, even if you're affiliated, you make zero dollars. Exactly, and Twitch takes 50. <laughs> Twitch takes 50% of your income. So might as well just not be affiliated. And if you watch videos on YouTube, a lot of people are saying it's better to not be affiliated with Twitch, you know. All this effort for no return, you know.
All right, so still we're struggling to sell Olivares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I received zero donations in eight months since I started streaming. Zero donations. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'm not doing this for any, any money. I just, or any financial purpose, as I said many, many times. And, you know, like, it's fun in the beginning when you start streaming because you're all excited. Like, oh, you have a new channel, blah, blah. But... Slowly, it starts to get annoying and, you know, you see you're going nowhere. And that's why I uh, choose to stream just a few days per week from now on. And it's going to vary, like, it's going to be every, every, every week is going to be different, different days. But I'm going to choose uh, only two days for FM and one day the betting league and that's it. The attention span of the viewers is not is not uh, too big. So even if you have viewers, they're gonna watch you for 10 minutes, 15 minutes the most, and then they're gonna either switch to a different streamer or just gonna stop watching or you know. So very very few streamers have like constant constant viewers, like you know, for their whole stream. Uh, let's see one more offer Olivares oh for Butelezi let's see oh god dude <laughs> 7 million for Butelezi 7 million how about 120 Yeah, if you're a big streamer, you're more committed, but you're still not making enough money. And if you're a big streamer, you have to you have to stay busy. You have to find new ideas every time to keep your viewers entertained. Otherwise, you're going to lose them to different streamers. It's like a whole process. And basically, you're just... Uh, most, most of the st streamers are wasting their time. They're doing it for fun, like I do it. I do it just for fun, for my own uh, entertainment, actually. As I said it before... Yeah, I agree, Besmer, if it's hard work. As I said it before, for me, streaming is just because I want this save or saves in Football Manager to be recorded. I want this time that I spent playing these games to be uh, recorded in my computer or like on YouTube. I have all the streams and the uh, progress of my saves recorded there and stocked. And this way I, I can, you know, tell myself that I didn't waste uh, time playing football manager but in um in reality it is a waste of time it's just a video game you know <laughs> but because i'm hooked to this game i'm i'm so you know um i don't know how to say it addicted that's a perfect word addicted to this game you know it doesn't matter if i waste time or not i gotta play all right we have a ton of tired players, but we don't have a game in... We have, the first game we're going to play is in 19 days. going to keep pressing continue. We have another 25 minutes into today's stream. Let's hope we can sell Olivares and generate a little more money so we can cover the losses. 
yeah very very addicted this game is super addictive like if you're uh, familiar with soccer or football however you want to call it and yeah if you want to play this type of strategy games this is the most addi addictive game you can play Twenty million for Kral. Are you kidding me? Okay, Olivares. <laughs> Reject. God, the cheapness, the cheapness of this freaking teams, man. Wiesner. So we get eight million straight for Wiesner, and then eighteen point twenty-five. How about we negotiate a 30 million? 30 bones. Then get the hell out of here. And you too. Reject. Kral. 21 million. But in payments, of course. Uh, 120. Same story. Uh oh. They want to talk. They want to talk. Okay. Uh, let's do 110. 110. Oh, okay. I'm asking for 110. They give me uh, 25. What kind of negotiation is this? One five. One oh five, not one five. 27. All right. We're getting we 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 are going nowhere. I'm gonna drop it to 85. Let's go 85. <laughs> so I lower it by 20 million. They raise it by 5 million. Okay, let's play this stupid game then. Inter. 83. There you go. Get lost. Sevilla Man City tomorrow. Super Cup of European Super Cup. Yeah. I might watch it. I might place a bet also. Olivares. The financials were not right, you idiot. It is this is my proposal. Let's see. 61. And he says, yes, okay. 61. And they offer 6.5 million. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Aekatena, 5.75 million. No. 60. There you go. No chance of selling this guy. I'm getting annoyed right now. We're going nowhere with this club, man. 11 years in charge and... Still... Barely, barely... <laughs> competing in Champions League. I can't, I can't leave until I 
until I win the Champions League, best Murph. I hate leaving clubs without, you know, trophies, without winning any trophies. And I, um, I stopped the save with Bordeaux because that was actually my Giroud save. So I was not invested in Bordeaux, like, you know, mentally. I wanted to, to win the Champions League with Giroud, my home city club. Because of that glitch, we had to move to Bordeaux. Otherwise, yeah. But I am invested in, in this club, in Asane. It's just... It's too difficult, man, with this registration rule. This this is like a game, game killer, like, you know. Every season we have to struggle with this registration rule. There are so many Wonder Kids available and we can't buy them. Not because we don't have money, because usually we do have money, it's just we can't register them, so... Oh, only three seasons was your longest before? Oh man. That's nothing. I won 16 seasons, no 14 seasons, sorry. 14 seasons with Tenerife. And uh, also 14 seasons last year with uh, my Romanian club, the FC Timisoara. I remember I told you I played the Champions League final against Bayern and I lost 4-3 in the 94th minute. Yeah, so 14 years also with Timisoara, 14 years with Tenerife. I like the, the long, long saves. I really love them, but if you're going somewhere, if you know that you're gonna win something and with this save right now i'm i don't know right now like for example right now we're going toward towards bankruptcy and everything because of the registration rule for you to win champions league in norway it's gonna take you at least at least 15 16 years at least all right so we have another offer <laughs> 23 million, okay. I'm willing to sell Kral. I'm willing to sell Kral, but... Let's do it again. Let's do it again, Inter. 100. I'm asking you for 100 now. Suggest. They go for 26.5. <laughs> I'm happy you, you enjoyed my streams and you... You find it useful, best Smurf, but I'm no different than you, man. We both play kind of the same. You know a lot of stuff because you started playing this game a long time ago. So, let's do 90. Inter, come on, let's talk. They do 28. I drop it by 10 million, they just add one more million. That's so funny, man. Who is a negotiator? 82. I'll do 82. And they go for 30. Okay, let's do 75. I'm dropping I'm willing to drop it to 75. <laughs> I got you hooked. That's good then. I'm guilty then. Cuz I'm hooked too. If I go down, you all go down with me, guys. 
35.5. Oh, man. So they're willing to... Let's see. Let's do 70. Let's do 70, Inter. See, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Like, this guy is worth, like, more than 80, 90 million. And I'm, I'm willing to sell for 70. And they... Okay. They said no. Nunez, finally, he's gonna leave. Okay, Fulham. They're waiting for the work permit. Jose Maria... Atletico Madrid for 40 million. Oh yeah, we have this uh, this goalie in our Wonder Kid list. He's amazing. Look at this goalie right here. 20 jumping rich, 18 eccentricity, 20 aerial rich. God. Two caps already for Spain. That's what uh, happens when you have a ton of money and a great reputation as a club. You you can sign anybody you want. That's not the case at Asane, guys. Neusiano injured for two days. Strand taken ill. Okay. Thirteen more minutes. We don't have time, guys, to play uh, Molde. I was, uh, I was willing to do it, but I, I forgot about, or I wasn't paying too much attention. I didn't know we have to wait another 20 days until we play molde i don't know why they have this kind of break in the middle of the summer they should actually keep playing you know keep playing the games probably because it's the european championship right now there's a european championship going on in my save maybe that's why who knows So what I was thinking about the next save in Football Manager, since this is going to go really, really slow with Asane, most likely it's going to take us another few months to win the Champions League. So if we don't win the Champions League in FM23 with Asane, we're going to transfer the save into FM24, continue it, continue it in FM24, win the Champions League, and then go to Atletico Nacional. You know, in FM24. If we win in FM23, the Champions League with Asane, the next save will be uh, Atletico Nacional. We're going to play until we win the Copa Libertadores with Atletico Nacional. If not in FM23, then we transfer it to FM24. And then, after that, we're going back to Romania, to Timisoara, uh, to the team that I played actually in real life, FC Timisoara, and I will try to to take it from the uh, second division. I'm gonna go in the editor and try to promote the club because we can't we can't play FM uh, in Romania in the third league, so we have to edit and promote the club to the second division and start the save in FM24 from the second division. So this is this is the plan. This is what I'm thinking right now. We'll see how it's gonna go okay so inter is not giving up on kral okay well we have to agree on something here okay let's start the negotiations from 85 million they go immediately to 30 okay i will go down to 78 32 okay Let's meet somewhere in the middle, maybe. 75. 35. Okay. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. 60. Um, 70. They go only 30. Nope, reject. They go only for 37 million. No, thank you. So no deal with Inter. 16 million straight right now. We're going to get for Nunez. We sign him for 7 million. So the club will earn 16 million. The board will will give us 8.5 million for transfers, but we don't need right now any money for transfer. We need to push everything into the into the club balance. So let's make parting company to Nunez because he was a good servant to the club. It's always good to to talk to the players when they leave. So who knows in the future you can re-sign him. Copenhagen won nothing. Yes. Some good news. Thank you, Bessmer. Hopefully, some pre bets are going to go my way today. So now, if we press continue, let's see how much money we'll have in the bank. Kral wants to discuss. Okay. What do you want? Um, okay, I could not accept the offer because it wasn't close to our valuation of you. 23? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? 120, that's my... Nope. Uh... Okay, let's, let's be more realistic. 90. You don't want 90. <laughs> 80. Five. Shut up. You're going nowhere. Squad unhappy with club situation. Nice. It's going better and better at Asana, guys. Everyone is upset right now. We need help in defensive midfield and we need it now. Uh, we'll try to do some business. Shut up. Okay. Petrovic is our defensive midfielder. He is the new rock in the middle. And he is great at that role. We should have done this before. Like way, way before. 15 players unhappy, yes. Yes, the mood in the squad is great right now. It would be nice if I get fired. From Asane, guys. That would be the end of it. <laughs> then I have no excuse, you know. We can move to a new challenge. Okay, so now we have 37 million negative balance in the bank. We still have to generate a lot of money. And again, I don't understand why they gave us 8 million. Because we don't need it right now. We just need to cover this right here. The red. We have 7 million in wages available. Did I promise something to him? Okay. Wants to break into the first team. Well, you are playing for the first team. And he is Spanish too. Oh, come on. Like, see this arrows? Arrows like the orange arrows again. Like, why? He is in the top of his... Form right now. Why he's again decreasing in skills?
Olivares, you better leave, man. 50 million, come on, somebody. Few more minutes guys few more minutes we will return uh, like i said on friday by the by friday i think we are gonna start actually the champions league league phase i'm gonna try to play on my own today for a few more hours after i come back because i have to get out of the house do some shopping and then a few more hours i will play and um, try to advance as much as i can and then friday we can uh, have some decent games during the stream. Okay, so still same story with Olivares, man. Same story. You know what? I tried, but for, for 6 or 7 million, we're not going to let him go. So whatever. Let's take him out of the transfer list. We're going to use him in Champions League and that's it. I mean, unless we're going to get a serious offer, we're not playing. And I'm willing to sacrifice the club future. Then just leave this guy. Uh, let this guy leave for, for 6 or 7 million. I'm, I'm not going to do that mistake again. We did it with that Chilean guy. He rose uh, the inside forward. And then Stuttgart sold him to, to Bayern for 90 million. So no, no more mistakes like that. We need to capitalize on the players that we have, on the talented players that we sign. Not just letting them go for cheap and then other teams are just going to make profit out of our research, our scouting, you know, um, scouting efforts. This guy is getting old. Nikolai Hopland. This is the fourth season at the club. We got him for 2.5 million from Mitchelland. But I think when we got him, we we had that clause, the 50% future fee. So if we sell him, we're going to get just half of the, the money. Eh, I might as well just keep him. He's just a useful player. Useful backup. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for me from today. Um, Besmer, thank you for joining the stream. We have a new follower. Like I said earlier, Triga1986. Thank you for following. Thank you for joining the stream today and watching the stream. We will be back on Friday, guys, with more Asane and Saturday with the betting league. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and uh, I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.